Hello, welcome to today's math class, Great Minds. What is the value of P that will satisfy this equation? In other words, we have to solve for six roots here, both the imaginary and the real roots. So how do we solve for that? The question is, bracket open P minus three, close bracket, all raised to the power of six, equal to six to the power of six. So how do we solve this? It's a very simple one. If and only if you have a sound knowledge of algebra. <laughs> All right, so let's go into today's challenge. So we take our solution here. Solution here. I'm super excited today. Yeah, I'm super excited. So what do we do here? The first thing we have to do here is to move this quantity to this side. So we're going to have here bracket up in P minus 3 all raised to the power of 6 minus 6 to the power of 6 equal to 0. We have to consider the powers because we don't have a numerical, sorry, algebraic expression for this kind of of power so what we do we just have to rewrite this power and this could be written as three times two right yeah three times two so this is going to give us here bracket our p minus our three all raised to our three plus bracket here or raised to power two then minus our c's raised to power three all raised to power 2 equal to 0. So what we do here, we apply difference of 2 squared. What does it say? It says that if you have your P, or let's take S this time, not P, so minus our Y to the power of 2, this is equal to bracket our S plus Y plus bracket, bracket our X minus Y, right? This is a very common algebraic identity. So we go. We want to rewrite this expression here now. It means that our x is the whole of this quantity here, p minus 3 all to the power of 3. And our y is 6 to the power of 3. So with that, we now pick this. Our expression will now become our bracket, our p minus our 3 all raised to the power of 3 as our x, right? Then let's put this in a square bracket. There plus what is our y? We said is 6 to the power of 3, right? Let's close this there. Up in another bracket, bracket here, p minus our 3, close bracket to the power of 3. There we have here minus our c to the power of 3. Then close our square bracket equal to 0. Two. Then we're look at this. At this point, we can equate this to 0, equate this to 0. So we have two case scenarios here. So we have here case 1. Case one. What is case one? We're taking the first one. So the first one is our p minus three all raised to the power of three. There plus our six to the power of three. This is equal to zero. Okay. So what we do here? You discover that this is to the power of three. This is to the power of three. So we can use what we call sum of two cube here. What does it say? It says that if you have your x to the power of three plus your um, y to the power of 3, this is equal to your x plus your y, plus bracket, bracket your x minus your, uh, sorry, x squared, then minus your x, then we have your x, y, plus your y squared. Okay? This is what we call sum of your two cubes. Okay, so if we apply this to this, then this is our expression. Term. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So this is going to give us, look at our, the whole of this is this. So we're going to have our bracket up in P, then minus 3, okay, which is for this, then plus our second quantity, which is 6 here, plus bracket, then bracket, here we're going to have this square, right? So the whole of this here, which is our p minus 3 all squared, then let's keep it in bracket, which is this, minus, then we have our x, which is our p, our p bracket minus 3, close bracket, what is our y, 6, times, times, times 6, yeah, right, then plus, uh, we have here plus, what is our y, 6 or square, right, 6 or square. The square bracket close equal to zero. So let's continue. So 
if you simplify this, this is going to give us our P there plus R3 plus bracket, bracket. Let's take keep this guy here. We can open up everything we have in here now, right? So this is going to give us our P minus 3, then bracket is square. I'm going to open this, but let's take keep this minus. Yeah, it's going to give us, use this to type this, give us 6 P. Use this to type this, give us the plus our 18, the plus 36, close bracket equals to 0. But our square bracket here. Okay. So what we do next here, then we have here P plus R3, close bracket, bracket. If we open this, this is going to give us P, then minus our 6 P, then plus our 9, the minus 6p the plus 18 plus 36. Wow, this is what we have here. Good. So, what we do here yeah, is a p squared, please. So, let's sum up everything. So, we have here p the plus our 3 bracket bracket p squared. Let's sum up all our p terms. This, this will give us minus our 12p. Then, let's add up this here now. So, we have here 6 plus. 8 will give us um, 14. So 14 plus this will give us 23. So we have here 3 carry 2. Here we have 4. So we have 4 here to give us plus 63 equal to 0. Wow. So from here we cannot send this to 0, equate this to 0. So we're going to have your P plus 3 equal to 0, or we have P squared minus 12P plus 63 to zero. Here we have our P1, which is the first value of our P is equal to minus 3. So let's keep this and we take off this now. So when we take off this, this is a quadratic equation. So we're going to solve this using the quadratic formula. So using the formula, using the quadratic formula, so we're going to have here to be our P is equal to minus B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4 AC all over 2a. What is our a? Our a is 1, so we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 12, and c is equal to 63. So let's quickly substitute a here and see what this gives us. So we're going to have here, or this line implies our p will not be equal to, so we have minus 12, okay, it's going to be minus minus, so minus bracket minus 12, close bracket plus minus the square root of our minus 12 all raised to the power of 2 then minus 4 times 1 times 63. Wow, this is all of our, our 2 times 1. Oh my goodness. Can we continue on this other side? Okay, let's continue here and see what this is going to give us in time. So this is going to give us our P will not be equal to this is going to give us positive 12 the plus minus this is going to give us 1, 4, 4. So the square root of 1, uh, 4, 4, then minus 4 times 1 times 64 will give us 2, 5, 2. Okay? So we have here, we're going to manage this space here. So we have 2, 5, 2, right? All over our 2 here. So this is equal to our P will now be of 12 plus minus the square root of if we subtract uh, 252 from 144, we're going to have minus 108. So we're going to have here minus 108. This is all of our 2, which is equal to our 12 plus minus. Now, 108 can be expressed as 36 times 3. Okay? So we have here minus 1 times 36 times 3. All of our our 2. And we know that the square root of minus 1 is iota. And 36 is a perfect square. So this is going to end up giving us 12 plus minus our 6 iota root 3 all over 2. So we can use 2 to divide to 1. 2 years, 6. 2 years, we have um, a 3. So we can equally simplify 3 out again. So this is going to give us our 3 into 3 here will give us 2 plus minus 3 here will give us 1. Iota root 3. Ah. So we have two roots from here. So let's continue on this side. I'll write out 
the two rules from here before we go into our second um, uh, uh, quantity, which is this very one, before we solve this very one. Okay? From there, we have our P1. So we're going to have our P1. Okay? Uh, P1, sorry, P2. We're going to have our P2 is equal to our 3 bracket 2, then um, plus iota root 3 close bracket, and our P2 is equal to our 3 bracket 2 minus iota root 3. Okay, now let's go to case 2. Look at our case 2. That's why I decided to leave this part. So we're taking our case 2 here. For our case 2, we have. So here we have our P minus 3 all raised to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3. Right? Equal to 0. Again, if we apply what we call the difference of 2 cubes, what does it say? It says that your x to the power of 3 minus your y to the power of 3, this is equal to bracket your x minus your y close bracket, bracket your x squared there plus your um, x, y plus your y squared. Right? Good. So again, if we take this, we're going to rewrite this in this format. And so this is going to give us here our, uh, what is it going to give us here? Okay, yeah. So this is going to give us our P here, which is our X here, minus our 3. All right? Good. The close bracket, there we have here, minus our 6, the R in this here bracket, then into, we have our P minus our 3, close bracket, again, there we have here, our um, plus, here we have our x, there we have, which is p, minus, this is square, please, the minus our 3, the close bracket, times 6, the plus our y, which is 6 square, equal to 0. Wow. Okay, so let's close this with our square bracket, okay? Okay, so this is equal to 0. Wow. So, from here, if we open up this, this is going to give us our p minus, 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 this will give us 9. So, let's put this in bracket, the uh, bracket. Again, we have to open up this to give us our p to the power of 2 minus our 6p plus our 3 to the power of 2 there plus, use this to tie this 6p minus this time this we have 18 plus this, we have 36, uh, close our bracket, equal to 0. We have moves there, don't worry. So we have bracket, our P minus our 9, close bracket. Okay? Good. Then we have here, bracket. Do we have any other P square? No, so we have here, P squared. Then we have here, minus P plus P, to give us, this will leave the system. So here we have here, 9, so we have here, plus our 9, then minus 18, plus 36, equal to 0. Easy, right? Okay, let me erase this. So now we got some of this now. So we have here our P minus our 9 bracket, P square, so P square. Then here we have plus 9, minus 18 will give us minus 9, plus 36 will give us plus 27. So we have here plus 27. Those brackets equal to zero. Okay, so from here we can apply the zero product rule. So we have here p minus nine equal to zero, or our p to the power of two plus twenty-seven equal to zero. So we're going to have here our p. This is going to be p. Uh, this is three. Okay, so this is going to be p four is equal to nine. Wow, p four is equal to nine. All right, then yeah. We just have to move this to this side. So we're going to have this to be P5, not B, equal to, for this square, and we take the square root of both sides. So we have here, square root of minus 27. Okay. And 27 could be written as 9 times 3. So this will give us here, then um, we, we, we're taking the square root, square root of this. So this, this leaves the system. Let's remove this 5 first here. So we're going to have here p is equal to our plus 
minus because we have to produce a plus minus. So this same thing as three times nine, and square root of nine is three. So this is going to give us three iota root three. So in all, let's bring out all the root we saw for. Remember the first root we saw for from here. Okay, from this first case scenario. The first root we saw for was um, a minus three. So we have our P1, P1 is equal to minus three. What is our P2? Our P2 is, this our P2, P2 is equal to our three into uh, two plus um, iota root root what three the p three is equal to our three bracket our two minus iota root three then our p four where's our p four we have our p four is equals to our positive nine then our p five our p five is equal to we're taking the positive one first, so we have three, then iota root uh, three. Then we have P six, right? So let's continue on this side. Oh, let me erase this because we don't have time. So we have our P six, so our P six, P six is equal to our three um, minus three, oh please. Had us we have here minus three iota root three. All right, so these are the values of our P, six of them that satisfy this original equation. Thanks for being there. Though it's lengthy, but we've gotten the final answers to this. Remember, this is Online Mass TV. If you do not subscribe, subscribe. See you in our next class. Team Dale, keep winning. Bye for now.